And I think being able to write for the New York Times is definitely a way of turning those worst experiences into the most beautiful. A South Bay teenager was recently published in the New York Times, sharing a very personal account of what distance learning is like for him during this pandemic. Our ABC tennis reporter Laura Acevedo shows us despite the challenges, he's optimistic about his future. Isaac Lozano from Bonita Vista High School says sharing his reality wasn't easy, but now feels proud that he can be a voice for others. The op-ed is titled, Remote Learning is Hard, Losing Family Members is Worse, and it was written by straight-A high school senior Isaac Lozano. Here's Lozano reading part of what he wrote. In truth, I was angry that I lived in a coronavirus hotspot, that my immigrant parents could only provide me with so much, that my middle-class peers were ensconced in their own bedrooms while I remained confined to a skinny metal chair in my kitchen. In the New York Times article published last week, Lozano shares his struggles with distance learning at home, living in a two-bedroom apartment, sharing a room with his two brothers, both parents being essential workers, and living in a COVID-19 hotspot. Though we always wash our hands and disinfect items after arriving home, I'm always left with a tingle of uneasiness, like sensing a mosquito in a dark room. Lozano details the struggles of not having a designated place to study and having issues with internet connectivity and his concerns about going back to school before it's safe. There's definitely like just privilege in being able to have your own room, just locking it and just shutting yourself out. Um, and that's not really an option for me. He also writes about losing his uncle to COVID-19, remembering that others have it worse. I felt numb, like in disbelief. Also remembering a phrase his mother often says, salir adelante, which means to get ahead in Spanish. I think I shouldn't really be ashamed, um, but proud and honored that um, I can give a voice to so many kids like me. In the South Bay, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. And we are proud of him. Since the article was published, Lozano says he's heard from a publishing company, a literary magazine, and an internship offer from a congressional candidate. He will be applying to colleges this fall and is looking at Stanford, Yale, and UCLA. Good for him. <laughs>